Hi everyone, myself Mr. Anil Nakhi, Assistant Professor, Physical Education Department, Tangukana Thakur Arts, Commerce, Science College, Autonomous New Panvel. Now today we will see the skeletal system. First, we will see the definition of skeletal system. Skeletal, skeletal system is an internal or external protective framework of bones and cartilage supporting and containing the organs of the body is termed as skeleton. Second definition is the human skeleton is the internal framework of the human body. It is composed to around 206 bones. Now we will see the stru uh, structure of the skeletal system. The skeletal system includes the bones of the skeleton and the cartilage, ligaments and the other connective tissue stabilize or connect the bones. Our bones are separated into two categories based on the purpose and location of the bones. The axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton. The axial skeleton contains 80 bones include the skull, spine and rib cage. It forms the central structure of the skeleton. The remaining 126 bones make up the appendicular skeleton. They include the arms, legs, shoulder girdle and pelvic girdle. The lower portion of appendicular skeleton protects the major org organs associated with uh, digestion and reproduction and provides stability when a person is walking and running. Now we will see the types of bones. First type it is long bones. Long bones helps to ease the movement and support the weight of the body. Long bones characterized by a long tubular shaft and an articular surface at each end of the bone where ligaments and tendons attach. These bones include the major bones of the arms and legs such as the humerus and femur tibia and fibula, the radia and ulna. Long bones are hard, dense bones that provide strength, structure and mobility. Higher impact activities such as jogging and jumping ropes and running, we can use long bones very effectively. Now second type it is the short bones. Short bones helps to provide stability and moment within the ankle and the wrist joints. Short bones are the roughly cube shaped and are as long as they are wide. Examples of this type of bones include the carpal and metacarpal in the wrist and tarsals and metatarsals in ankle. We use these bones by playing volleyball for finger pass, dribbling the basketball and generate speed while running. Now third type it is flat bones. Flat bones, the primary purpose of this type of bones is to protect internal organs such as the brain, heart and lungs. Examples of this type of bone include the cranium or skull, sternum and rib and the pelvis. We use these bones while playing football in chasing and heading but also we can prevent the impact while receiving the ball or at a time of a heading. Now food type it is irregular bones. These types of bones vary in size and structure with the shape usually very complex. Irregular bones serve different functions depending on location. For example, vertebra protect the spinal cord and together make up the spinal column. Now fifth type it is a sesamoid bones. The function of this bone to protect tendons and diminish friction and wear on joint surface. Sesamoid bones are small and less rounded masses embedded. These bones found in the hands, feet, knees. For example, sesamoid bone is the patella or kneecap. Thank you.